Oh, wait a minute, somebody coming. Right, that, none of that video turned out. For some reason, the camera turned itself off. Hiya. Hiya. So all I was talking about for the last five minutes hasn't come on. I don't know why it turned itself off. I've just been describing a few things, and I'm not going to do it again. Basically, I'm on my way on a new route today to a place called Smith's Coombe and I'm going up onto the top of the Quantox and I'll probably end up now that's very annoying that's turned itself off because I I started that video at the green I was just talking about the green when I was there with the school and with my family my sisters I was doing a nice little description I even stopped where there was a stream and a little bridge and a pond I stopped and described all that and it was going and it just suddenly went off and I can't seem to see it if it's been saved at all there's one picture of the green that I took but I can't see any video it turned itself off I hate it when that happens you know anyway I was just, just saying how old Fox and House is up for sale for two million pound and um, I've been in it with Zara in the past and um, a sister of mine used to do the curtains had done the curtains in there and maybe some upholstery it used to be a hotel it was um, lived in by Wordsworth for a couple of years back in his time and he used to meet up with Coleridge and they would walk the Quantox and be inspired to write poetry Today I'm going to be walking past the house on my way to Smith's Coombe, which I want to explore. <laughs> now, when the camera turned itself off, I was just about to say that today I've got my walking, proper walking boots on and walking trousers. Right, I'm just going to save that bit. I have to save in small sections by the look of it. <coughs> I'd also said that I started out late today it's more of an afternoon walk so I wasn't sure what I was going to do today but then I thought to myself I've got to look after Maggie soon for a little while a couple of about seven days I think so she can't go far um, yeah and I've got to make the most of it while we've got this lovely weather because um, I do come out in all, all year round, of course. But it is a beautiful, beautiful walk. It's lovely weather. It's a breeze as well. I've got my hat on. I've got my proper walking boots on today. And only two days ago, I was at the junction with Smith's Coombe and a coombe that took me over to East Quantox Head and I had to go through a field oh, I've got a feeling it was over that way somewhere actually and then I met up with the church the hamlet of East Quantox Head on that day I'd done a circular walk from East Quantox Head along the coast to St Audrey's Bay up to St Audrey's Church and then following the Coleridge Way part not along here but I didn't have to come as far as here back there and just past the Perry bit <sighs> Holford 2000 that's a millennium bench look so this, this is a lovely view we just sit here for a second Right, I'm going to turn over off so I can take a picture. Over and out for now. Right, yes, another update with Wordsworth's house. There's a swimming pool area up there. Like I said, I've been in it. All over it. Downstairs, basement, upstairs. 
but it's up for sale for two million pounds. I've been in there, that's where the lovely settees and that are in there, that's the lounge, or whatever you call it, your in room. Ways down. Yeah, all oh, shut up of course. There was loads of deer out. Loads of deer. There's the family emblem, that, that uh, dark dog there. Yeah, there was deer everywhere here. Yeah? There's the steps that lead up to the swimming pool there. There's the old... Um, I don't know if they, they might rent that out. Yeah, that might be holiday home. I don't know. Or it might be a warden that lives there. So this is it, folks. It used to look a lot better, I must admit. When I first came here, there was still someone living in there. It had plants growing around the top there. And it looked in better neck. It has worn. I mean, you might spend... You might have to pay two million to buy it. And another two million to do it up. Just turning off a minute in case this camera suddenly goes off.